You know, yesterday someone sent me an email telling me that they actually went forth to do some black magic on someone else. And they say, but I pray and I do this. And I learned that that is actually association of partnership with Allah. If you do that, the hadith says, Man sahara faqad ashrak. Whoever does magic actually has associated partnership with Allah or involved in shirk. So now that I know it was so bad, and by the way, what is it? You know, to grab a doll and throw pins in it and put these little pieces of hair or whatever else or parts of the body or nails, fingernails and so on and to tie these uh, strings and to blow in them and on them and to pull it this way and that way. All of that with the intention of magic is magic. All of that is actually evil. And that's what's being spoken about. If you read the last two surahs of the Quran, the one where Allah Almighty speaks about in Surah Al-Falaq, He says, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدْ I'm going to leave it to you to find the translation inshallah of the surah. But the point I want to raise is how Allah mentions the protection in Allah from shaitan and from the blowing into the knots. Blowing into the knots, that's the magic. So what the sister says is, I'd like to seek the forgiveness of Allah, but I heard that shirk is not forgiven by Allah. So what you heard is correct, but it is only correct if you die without seeking the forgiveness of Allah. When you're alive, you seek forgiveness even from shirk and Allah will forgive you.